Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a vlog that is gonna be a little bit different because today I'm heading to Barcelona with my boyfriend Tom. He's actually not here right now. I'm about to go and pick him up and we are heading to Manchester Airport to catch a flight to Barcelona. So I hope you're gonna enjoy these vlogs. If you're new to my channel, head down below, hit the subscribe button. I have another Barcelona vlog coming your way tomorrow. Let's get straight into it. Let's go to Barcelona. That was my attempt at a Spanish accent. It was awful. Oh, I am so annoyed, guys. My phone just rang. I've just had a call from, basically, I'd booked me and Tom onto like a Sunset River cruise in Barcelona for tomorrow night. I thought, oh, that'd be really nice. I hadn't told Tom, it was a surprise. They just rang me and said they're having to cancel because of the weather, which actually makes me slightly nervous about what the weather forecast is. And also really sad because I was really looking forward to it, but they've just told me that they're gonna refund me and that they're canceling the trips for the weekend. So that is such a shame. I was really looking forward to it. I hope the rest of the trip isn't going to be spoiled by the weather. The forecast looks fine to me, like it's cloudy, but I don't know why that would mean you can't go on a boat, so like, yeah. <laughs> I have my trusty suitcase here. This is from HB London, um, and this is the suitcase that I'm taking with me because we have packed hand luggage only, and we need to leave for the airport in about 40 minutes, so... Yeah. This is the outfit that I'm wearing to travel. My hair's just really natural. I didn't see any point in doing it. Um, and I'm wearing these ripped jeans because they're just really comfy. I know a lot of people hate jeans and wouldn't fly in jeans, but it's not a particularly long flight. And personally, I always wear jeans and I'm not that bothered by them. And then this is from Stradivarius. This was in my haul last week. I really like this. I decided to wear this because I don't really know how warm it's going to be. So I'm going to wear a jacket. And then I thought this was a pretty, pretty safe bet. <laughs> to go to my flat we're just here we are oh here's the train we're just waiting here for the airport service which has just arrived we have got food in the airport that arrived in quite literally about three minutes flat we just ordered this literally i just sat down from ordering some sweet potato fries which are coming i didn't realize this came with chips though not gonna lie don't really want chips on sweet potato fries so you can have these chips because you don't have many chips there so would much rather eat these than those any day of the week what gate are we 52. let's go oh thanks bye have arrived in our hotel room my hair's looking worse for wear that's what an aeroplane does for you but we are here it's actually a really decent hotel like it's very basic i just booked a cheap hotel to be honest didn't want to be spending loads on somewhere to sleep when the main part of a city break is like the city but we are here we're staying in a hotel called hcc how do you pronounce it like laguana I'll leave a link below. The flight was totally fine. We are here. It's half past 10. We're pretty much in the center of Barcelona. Like we're a 10 minute walk away from the art museum, which we can see out the window and it's completely lit up and it looks absolutely gorgeous. So I think we might take a little walk to that, kind of get our surroundings, but we don't want to have a super late night because obviously tomorrow it's going to be really quite busy. We want to jam in as much as we physically can because we're not here for very long and the city has so much to offer. We were just talking to the guy at reception who was so, so lovely and he was like giving as recommendations things to do things to see place to go and yeah there's a lot of exciting stuff happening especially because we're here kind of over the weekend so there's like light shows and like music parades and stuff happening so i really want to make the most of it taking the culture i absolutely love european cities and this one so far looks good so we've got these cheeky mirrors um and we're heading out now i don't know why i said the word cheeky they're just mirrors but we're gonna head just across the road for a little walk stretch our legs and then try and have like an earlyish night is it me or is it really echoey we're cutting that out tom because that's not appropriate for the channel but yeah basically this is the hotel very basic it's like the equivalent of a premier inn but in a different country that's how i described it to tom um, although the bathroom's really nice to be honest we love a big mirror it's got good lighting you really can't fault it it's exactly what we need it for which is perfect and we're not actually here very long we're here until monday so it's friday night now we kind of leave monday evening so it's like the perfect amount of time i'm stood miles away from you guys um but yeah i'm really really excited I'm gonna show what we see when we explore i think it's an art museum or an art gallery or something like that we've got to this is the art museum that i was talking about being lit up there's an escalator as an alternative to the stairs i'm literally so gassed about this also it feels kind of warm even though it's almost 11 yeah, o'clock at it's night like a warm kind of 
breeze. Muggy like. breeze. Here's an escalator in the middle of the street. I love that. Look how beautiful this park looks. Although I don't recommend wandering around here by yourself at night. Like we've probably made a mistake. But we're surviving. Yeah. These escalators are weird. They all sound like they're gonna fall to pieces when you step on it. <laughs> True. We have made it. We went up very dodgy escalators. I really wouldn't recommend doing this. I'm sorry, Mum, if you're watching. I know that you dislike exactly what I've just done. You would be saying, Molly, go back to the hotel. But we survived. And actually, the view from the escalator was absolutely gorgeous. We just saw the, I can't say it. I need to get the pronunciation right. Sanguas familiar. Sorry if you're Spanish. This was definitely worth it for the view of Barcelona. Look at this. You can see like the whole city. So nice. Whoa. I don't actually really know what this is. I'm going to read up on it when I get back to the hotel. But it's so nice. And there's a lot of stairs. And there is a lot more people around here. Oh, guys, look at this. Looks so impressive. But it's so weird because we have a massive church in our hometown. Like a huge freaking church. And we don't just go stand by it and go. Yeah, but this isn't a church. No, this is an art gallery. I've taken my hair down. It looks have to very here. windswept. I know we do a lot of art galleries. So we'll have to come in. I think do you know, I'm not too fussed. I feel like I'm over art. <laughs> I think the art is the outside. Oh, Guys, you can oh, also man, see. Well. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it. One sec. But it's really hard for my camera to focus on. There's so many lights. But that thing there, the very, very distant light, is an amusement park. We just Googled it. And then that bad boy over there is the Sangra Familiar, which I cannot see. But yeah, just look at this. Isn't it so pretty? Tom goes. His crack showing. <laughs> you can see his bum crack. <laughs> you look like you're having your photo taken. Wow. Why does that sound sarcastic? It's actually really not. It looks incredible. <laughs> Get that shot for the gram. Good morning, guys. It is now Saturday and I have very pink under eyes. This is the James Charles palette. We are heading out into Barcelona now. The first stop this morning, where are we going? Food. Food? <laughs> yeah, definitely food. I'm literally starving. Are you hungry? Yeah, yeah I'm hungry. And then where are we going? To the new camp. To new camp, which was Tom's main birthday present, the tour of Barcelona Football Stadium. Obviously, Barcelona is a massive football location. Like, I'm not a football fan and even I know that. So we are doing a tour of the stadium, which I'm not overly thrilled about, but I'm also not dreading because everybody that I've spoke to has said it's really good. So it will be good. I'm be good. quite excited. This is my outfit today. Let's back up a little bit. Should we both do an outfit of the day? You well, love these. My outfit's very boring. <laughs> Black top. Black jeans. This top is from Pretty Little Thing. It's white, but it is long sleeve because I think it is going to be cold, even though my belly's going to be out. Got these ripped jeans on. These are from Topshop. And then this little purple denim jacket is from Forever 21. I actually bought this out in America, though I don't think they sell this in the UK. But I'll try and leave a link to a very similar one below that I think H&M sells. So yeah, if you guys wanted a cropped lilac denim jacket, I do have a link to one, just not this exact one. Where's your top from, Tom? Primark. Primark? Where are your <laughs> yeah. jeans from? New look. Um, yeah. Yeah. My shoes, my vans are from Vans. And your Yeezys are from Foot Locker. Let's go see some Barcelona. Also, I haven't really done my hair. My hair on this trip is going to be basically just this because I'm really trying to not use heat on it. So that is why my hair looks a bit scruffy. But hey. Oh, I forgot to put my earrings in. I want to put my hoops in. And then we'll go. Pick the hoop. Pick the hoop. I don't know whether to get a waffle. Or a crepe though. Okay, let's have a crepe. Let's have a crepe. I might get the same then. Should we just order two of the same? We found this really cute little cafe restaurant place. It's in the shopping centre that we were walking past. This is called the Arena de Barcelona. It's not a chocolate sausage roll. It's a chocolate puff pastry. The breakfast menu is really cool though. It's all sweet stuff. But look at their. Um, I've seen this before, guys. It's literally. It does look like a sausage roll to be fair, but it's got chocolate in it. Guys, it's actually so bad. I keep forgetting how to say thank you in Spanish, so I'm just saying thank you in English. And then I, now I sound really like ignorant because I'm not even trying because I keep forgetting. I literally know no Spanish. Yeah, crib. A healthy, nutritious breakfast to start the holiday off right. Tom's going, they've won it the same amount of times as Liverpool have. That was going to beat Man United. How do you know that? Oh. You remember watching it. 2000 to 2017, that's like our lifetime. What do you think to it? It's amazing. Do you like it? I mean, I'm not gonna lie to me, it looks like a football stadium, but it is a pretty big one, I've gotta say. It's so windy set up here as well, look. Oh, Tom, this does look cool. Look at you in the viewfinder. Wow.
So we finished up at the tour of the football stadium. We're waiting to get on the underground now to get basically a tube, it's not a tube, a metro to the Sagrada Familia. I'm so bad at pronunciation. Basically the big old church. Got the thickest looking hot chocolate ever and some fruit that I just spilled all over the floor and some crisps that I don't think are ready salted because I didn't know the flavour and well I thought it was red but I don't think they are ready salted oh okay and some coke and it may be freezing cold and windy as heck but lunch with a view I'm not gonna lie guys this lunch has not gone in my favour first I threw all the strawberries off the table that I paid five pounds for which is ridiculous for some strawberries and then I just put my arm in the guacamole so I mean I've got it off my coat as best I can but it's just not going well for me. However, I really can't complain because it's not every day you sit and eat lunch next to this bad boy. So, <laughs> I'm on about to talk. I really need to stop saying bad boy as an adjective because it's not an adjective at all. So after many a photo, Tom is sick of being photographer now, although we've got some nice ones of us together, haven't we? Pied. <laughs> We have decided, yeah, cross, oh, are we gonna die? Oh, we've decided that we're gonna walk to La Ramblas, which is like 1.6 miles, but it's through pretty much the centre, like right through the centre, um, past like some shops and stuff, and basically just like the very city centre, so we're gonna walk it. We've come into a little football shop because we haven't spent long enough in the football museum. Stop crying. I'm not crying. I think we should get Harry something. This bit is my favourite bit that we've walked through so far. It looks so like, Spanish. Casual. I just love the architecture and the trees and the architecture especially. Oh my god this looks so cute. Wow. All in English as well. Thanks. This also looks cute. We just found such a gorgeous restaurant called La Tagliatella. This is why I like walking when you're in a city because I think otherwise you miss this if you're like on the metro, on a bus or whatever. Um, so we've just got in there, we had a look at the menu, we had a little sit down and then we booked a table for tomorrow night because tonight we're going out for tapa. Tomorrow night I was kind of craving a pizza or pasta and this restaurant looks absolutely gorgeous. So, so fancy looking but the prices are so like decent. So we've just booked a table for tomorrow night which is going to be really good. I'm excited. I already know what I want. <laughs> Can I even wait until tomorrow? That sign is my whole life. We just went in a tat shop and knocked absolutely everything over on the stand that was selling little like souvenirs, like little tiny Sagra Familias. So I bought one even though it cost five pounds just because I felt bad because I'd knocked them all over. Like it was such a domino effect. Like I knocked one and all of them just tipped up and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Where are the biscuits? <laughs> I feel like Ellen O'Neill in this jumper. I wish you could have heard that Tom just farted. We have come back to the room. Anyway, yeah, it's 5 p.m. We've been out since nine. We're gonna go back out for food in about an hour. I think we've just come to like put the bags down, have a little um, rest basically, because we've done so much walking. Uh, I've got this jumper on because I went into Pull&Bear and I was absolutely freezing. I still have the top on that I had on underneath, this like white crop top but it was too cold for that basically. So I bought this, which was only 10 pounds from Pull and Bear. Um, and I thought I'll wear this again, definitely. So I thought it was worth it. Anyway, we're heading out tonight for tapas. Come here and be in this shop. Tom's laying down. Do you not want to sit up? You look so funny right now. He's on Coin Master. <laughs> Are you excited to go for tapas? Mm -hmm. Tom's never had tapas before. A bit worried actually, not excited. You're not excited? Tom doesn't like trying new food. But you're gonna try it? Well, obviously I'm gonna try it, I'm not just gonna walk up Do you know what it is? No, not really. Why don't we have a Google of stuff? Because my friend Gabby's given us a recommendation for a restaurant in the centre um, that she's been to when she's been here before. So we're gonna go to that because I trust Gabby and her recommendations, especially when it comes to food because she is so like into cooking and good food and good places to eat. So right now I'm just gonna have a little. Well, I'll catch up on YouTube and rest my feet. How far have we walked? Should we have a look? Oh God. 
It's actually not that far, it feels further than that. Not Eight far. miles, 17,000 steps, you can't really see that. It feels more than that though, trust me, my feet definitely feel like it's more than that. Look at what just got delivered, more pillows because hotels that just give you one pillow aren't the one, you need two pillows, so yes please. So we have got changed, I've taken my top off, I've put my black jeans on because I feel like these are a bit more professional. Professional. And I've kind of sorted my hair out, not really, I've kind of just like brushed it through my fingers because I forgot a hairbrush, I really need to buy a hairbrush, but it is looking a bit worse for wear but like I said we're trying not to use heat on it um I've popped on a lipstick this is 1993 by Urban Decay and I've just kind of like touched my makeup up a tiny bit but obviously nobody here knows me and I am trying to just be kind to my skin and my hair and embrace the natural life instead of putting a load of makeup on and a load of hair heat on my hair, load um, hair on. a load of hair on <laughs> anyway yeah we're gonna head for tapas now and I can't wait we're in a restaurant called Texapala I think I'll put it on screen I don't know how you say it got myself a sangria which Tom is stealing and we have ordered tapas off this tiny little tapas menu which I think is really cute because all of the food is like miniature versions which I think is so cute so we've ordered four each and I'll show you what I've got when it arrives but right now what do you think of it red wine with um, lemonade in basically which is kind of a weird concept it's it no it isn't that but it tastes like that patatas bravas has arrived as has this which is a tiny little stuffed chicken cheese and pepper on bread. I didn't know if they were going to come on bread or if these were just the pictures and that was like the plates so I'm glad they have come on bread. Yeah it's kind of finger food. We didn't realise how small this was going to be. We were very very inexperienced tapas eaters. After seeing my patatas brava, Tom has also ordered patatas brava. Uh, it's taken a while to come. It is now 8 o'clock but after this I think we're going to head to the marina, go to the W hotel. Probably in about an hour though but it's fine because I feel like Spanish people do everything so late at night that it really doesn't matter. Here is our next plate of mini tapas. We've got a pulled pork burger. Mini tapas, not mini well, it's just tapas. Pulled pork burger, camembert, another beef burger, and a sausage plus the tapas brava. Chin chin. We are now walking along the like marina promenade bit because Barcelona also has a beach that is absolutely gorgeous. It's still so windy though, as you can see. Um, and we are walking to the W Hotel, which I would say is quite like famous in Barcelona. Maybe, maybe not. I've seen it in a few people's vlogs and Hannah also recommended me it because she's been to Barcelona, I think maybe once or twice. And basically it's that funky looking building all the way over there. Where we got off the tube, it was actually a miles walk. Hasn't felt like a mile though because everywhere we're walking is just gorgeous. Oh my God, there's the sea, Tom. The Mediterranean Sea. Oh my God, it looks so choppy. Oh my gosh. But this is just like a really nice promenade. It reminds me a little bit of Ibiza, a little bit of like Benamadina on this coast of Spain actually, which is also really lovely. Are you excited to go in there? Yeah, Looks nice, doesn't it? I hope they don't turn us away. Imagine if after all this we're like, you Corbin, can't be wearing trainers. We're still like half a mile away. Yeah, I know, we are a walk away, but it's a nice walk. It is. Palm trees and everything, look guys, palm trees in April. Who am I? Tropical country in April, that's not very me. Oh, you look nice. This is so beautiful. We've got the whole skyline. Oh, that's me. Hi. Just looks so, so gorgeous. Like this is the hotel we were just filming. Look at that. One day I will stay in this hotel. This is a mental note to myself. This is the little beach strip. We're just walking down it. Feels a lot longer. Actually, mm, do you think it feels longer or shorter this time? A lot shorter. Why do you say longer? I don't know. We're going to a bar now called El Paradiso or Paradiso Bar or Paradiso Cocktails or something, which is actually a recommendation from you guys. I've had two separate uh, viewers DM me on Instagram saying, oh, if you're in Barcelona, you should check out El Paradiso. So I figured because two separate people had said it, we'd go. We're basically running off other people's recommendations. We've gone for tea based off Gabby's recommendations, for those drinks based off Hannah's recommendations. Now we're going to this bar based off your recommendations, so yeah. This guy. <laughs> I don't think I even vlogged this, but I had a mango mojito. It was in this glass. Pretend it looks really nice. 
for a vlogger. Guys, I'm gonna end my vlog. It's literally like quarter to one in the morning. But we've just got back. I've got my retainers in. My hair looks so frizzy. I look like a seven year old. Good night vlog. Good night vlog. I've had. Not much chest vlog. How many drinks have we had? Fair amount. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not that bad actually. I'm fine literally. But I have remembered to take my makeup off, put my retainers in. So, thank you very much for watching the vlog. If you have enjoyed it, give it a huge thumbs up. There'll be another Barcelona vlog your way tomorrow at 11am. It's so late right now. I shouldn't be talking at this volume. But yeah, I'm so tired. That we all. <laughs> We've had such a long day. We've walked about 12 miles. That is a long way. My feet are killing me. So, good night. I'll see you all in the morning at 11am. Subscribe to see more. And I'll be back then. Bye.